Hello guys and girls, welcome back. In this video, we are going to go over AWS Secrets Manager. So why do we need Secrets Manager? Uh, so let's think of a scenario where, where your code has to call an API using an API key or a very common scenario where you have to go and uh, get some data from a database. So you have to have uh, the database name and the password um, and the URL. So uh, how do we generally code it? So one way to code it is uh, just to hard code it, right? Uh, like this example, uh, I'm trying to call an API uh, to get some uh, news, um, and then I need an API key to call the API. So I just hard coded this API key in the, in the code, right? So which is definitely not good. So whoever has access to the code, who has read access to the code, uh, they can just, see it and get the key and abuse the API themselves. Second way, another way is to uh, put all those information in a file. Like say for example, in this code snippet, uh, we are trying to connect to a RDS database. So we created this RDS underscore config file uh, where we put the DB username, password, and the database name. Uh, and then uh, in the program, I'm just, uh, uh, referencing those three um, variables uh, from this file. This, this is also not really ideal uh, because if you think about a Lambda, if you do it this way, uh, someone can go and download the code and then just open this RDS config file and they would see the name, password, and all the credentials um, if, they, if they want to fetch it. Also, uh, if this RDS config file along with the code uh, is in, say, for example, in some GitHub repository for your project, uh, and um, if someone else has read access to it, uh, they can go and read the username and password. So this is definitely uh, not a good, good practice. But how do you get around it, right? So hence, AWS Secret Manager. So Secret Manager uh, is a service which keep secret and uh, it stores API key, DB credentials or whatever you want and it encrypts with a KMS key. So uh, if someone else outside of your project who doesn't have your KMS key uh, want to get this information, they cannot, right? And secondly, uh, Secrets Manager can rotate the credentials periodically. Uh, so if it is like, a, for example, API Gateway API Key or like an RDS uh, username and password, Secret Manager uh, can uh, do like every 30 days, uh, they can go and uh, rotate the credentials and update the credentials in Secrets Manager. And all this happens without your code actually knowing it. So uh, this is like a code snippet uh, that is using a Secret Manager. Uh, so instead of hard coding the API key here, uh, all you have to do is like a get secret, uh, and then that is gonna go and get from Secrets Manager the secret from the Secrets Manager, and then use it in your code. Even if it changes every thirty days, your code doesn't need to know that. Uh, we are gonna have a demo video where I'm gonna show you how to set up a secret and uh, how does the code look like. Uh, but but uh, hopefully this gives you guys a high level overview of why we need Secret Manager and what it is. All right, guys, so uh, join me on the next video where we're going to go over the demo of the Secret Manager.